Hey, welcome everybody to the Total Wellness Show with Terrence on Praise 108 Radio. I am Terrence Hutchinson, your host, and we are here again on a Monday evening at 6 o'clock. We're here. This is our fourth show. We're excited, happy, and extremely, extremely feeling well right now. It's a beautiful day outside. The birds are chirping. <laughs> the sun is shining. God is throwing down blessings. This, I mean, it's a beautiful day outside. I mean, Mother Nature compared to last week. Well, last week was kind of sunny, too, but compared to Monday before that, it was really crazy out here, you know. So we are here right now, and we're about to have a great show. And first before we started, you know, I like to talk about my sponsors because I have to show them love for them to really be standing behind me. So once again, you know, uh, thank my, my sponsors uh, Nurse Royce Evans, thank you again for the sponsorship. I thank you. Dr. Troy Gathers, once again, for the 1670 clothing line. Thank you for the clothes. Um, my guys, Respected Roots, thank you again. Once again, thank you for all the products and um, having me on your team once again. Congratulations for all your hard work out there. And also to uh, Butter B. Rocker for the sponsorship. And also congratulations on... Um, the Storm music video going 17 placements internationally. Oh, that's nice. You know, yeah, you know, that's so nice. the numbers look real good on that, so I'm excited. I'm, I'm actually in that video. Just, oh, yeah, 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 so, yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, right. that's, that's, that's. Cameos. <laughs> yeah, well, I was like one of the main characters. Uh, okay, main people, oh, you know? well, my bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> that was, get that was, right. Yeah, yeah, right. well, you know what? We working on that. Okay. okay. Right. You know, we trying to do some Taking things. Taking it to new heights. Yeah, trying, trying, to, trying to evolve and become more than, right. you know, who we were on, on, right. on last year, you know, right. and Absolutely. stuff like that. So, you know, I'm just happy to be here. This platform is, um, is truly a blessing for me. I'm able to vocalize a lot of things as far as health and wellness yes. and bring awareness to um, t- really taking care of yourself on all fronts of health and wellness more than just working out, hitting the gym, but really taking care of yourself spiritually, emotionally, you know, environmentally on every aspect of it. And it's very important, man. So, and I, I felt like, you know, you know, just to have this show would be awesome, 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 awesome. Sure, sure. I got it. Yeah. You know, so anyway, without further ado, I want to introduce my guest. You know, I, I fell in love with this power couple, you know, uh, about a, well, how long? About a year or so ago. Ooh, going on two. Going yeah, on two years. Yeah, time, two. time, time flies, you know. Yeah. And uh, when I met them, uh, you know, they invited me over to their home, and we did a quick consultation. And uh, I was like, yo, we, all of a sudden we started talking about four massive shows, and mm-hmm. you know, I was mm-hmm. like, I didn't come over here for all that, but at the <laughs> end of the day, I was excited about right. it. And right. one, of the, they're so into the tech and everything. Next thing you know, the green screens are popping up, and the cameras <laughs> is popping up, and. I'm in the middle of a photo shoot and everything like that. And it was just such an amazing thing. Like, you know, they are really, really, really into technology. Yes. You know. Yes. And it's life. It's life. It's, yes, technology's life. You know, and right now they got the, the power of tech tour coming out right now. Yes, and we are so excited about this. Look. I ain't even I'm just gonna jump into <laughs> it. We come back to the book later. Just talk about yeah. the power of tech tour. What was the idea behind that? Well, first and foremost, we wanted to we wanted to get out and actually touch people and talk to people. Um, we've been working behind the scenes for a lot of years now, and we've covered a lot of ground, helped a lot of people. Um, but we realized that we had to go on the road, and we yes. wanted to impact more people on a higher level. Um, and that's what God is leading us to do. Yeah. And so we put that into action and came up with the Power of Tech Tour. Um, and so we're really excited about the event coming up where you know we're gonna have about 18 panelists, uh-huh. um, people that have worked with us, people we've inspired, um, mm-hmm. people that have supported us. And so we're just really proud to bring those people to bear mm-hmm. and, um, and just showcase them to the world. And then also, um, we want to show that there are a lot of jobs, a lot of opportunities that do not, um, that you don't need to code. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> you want to speak more about I that? I definitely want to talk more about that. So a lot of times when you talk about or you think about technology, you think, oh, it's hard or, oh, I'm now I have to know coding. And so what we just try to show people is, hey, yes, there are coding jobs out there, but we like to focus on the higher paying 
uh, jobs around enterprise systems. And we just like to basically let people know that, hey, you can do this. It's not about just coding. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of opportunities. And so some, for example, are, I would have to say, um, you know, IT um, system analyst roles. Mm -hmm. There's administration roles. Mm -hmm. There's um, uh, designer roles. I mean, it's not just about coding. And so we just want to show people, and we actually wanted to bring our panelists up um, to basically demonstrate there's a lot of different jobs around <coughs> IT security. I mean, you name it. It's a lot of jobs, and we get them all the time, and they're always looking for talent mm -hmm. and call us. And so, of course, you know, it's only two of us, so we want right. to be able to multiply and help our community out even more. By yeah. Just letting them know what's available out here. Definitely, Absolutely. definitely. That's 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 a major thing because when I think about tech, you know, I'm like, you know, okay, <laughs> I'm thinking about cell phones, electronic games, and stuff like right. that. You right. know, I'm not as adverse into technology the way that you guys are. But when I read your background, I read through, mm -hmm. you know, the website and everything like that. I'm like, oh, I might have to switch up right quick. <laughs> you can switch up. We want everybody. <laughs> we are recruiting everybody um, from any background. And you heard me, any background. Any any background. And we have proven it with all type of backgrounds. You don't have to be in tech already. You don't have to even, you know, go to college for this. I mean, there are so many opportunities. As long as you have certain skills that we teach on, um, we show you exactly what these different um, jobs are looking for. And mm -hmm. so that's the main thing is just showing the awareness around what's available and what the jobs are looking for. Yeah. So why do you feel like it's the need to show diversity between minorities and and women right now? What's the push behind that? I know she was yeah. going to jump in yeah. that. That's my passion for one. Okay, uh, the biggest reason is there's not a lot of, first of all, women, and there's definitely not a lot of black women. I've been in this industry over, <clears throat> you know, a long time. And so, <laughs> I always say this like how long oh, I've been wow. in a, a long time. And so I have not seen myself out here. And I think that's what actually provoke the um, the passion in this. I'm like, I mm -hmm. want to see more of myself out here. Right. I want to show women that, hey, you can do this. Um, it's not hard uh, as you think. You know, a lot of people think it's just hard. And mm -hmm. so what I just try to show is, hey, you can do this. Um, yes, it is male-dominated, but you can still work in a male-dominated world. I mean, right. know, they're accepting of us now, and so right. they, they encourage us to come in on this. Are, so. are you running into people that's facing fear? Jumping oh, into it. Oh, gosh, yes. <laughs> yes, and this is the reason why my husband wrote the book on fear. Right, because right. that yeah. was one of the things that we definitely see a lot of. A lot of people are just scared uh -huh. because they don't know. It's the unknown more of anything. Right, and right. And so, I mean, I definitely want you to get into that. But yeah, it's, it's a huge part. <laughs> That's why I leaned yeah. into that, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, do you want me to start? Yeah, yeah, so, go oh, ahead. Tell, so, tell us tell us uh, about the fear factors, man. Yeah, so, what so, paralyzes people? Um. Fear in general is just holding us back on so many different levels, mm -hmm. um, just of life, right? Um, you know, even from a health perspective, I know that you're an avid health guy. You know, a lot of times we don't want to face um, our health issues because of fear. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't want to know what's happening, even though the, 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 the beneficial side to that is you will know and right. you can take action mm -hmm. instead of just kind of being quiet and not really going to see what's happening with your body. So it kind of works across the board. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we hold ourselves back and because we don't know how people will accept us. Mm -hmm. We're like, you know, we're worried about people judging us. Right. Mm -hmm. Or we're worried about being ignorant on a certain topic. Mm -hmm. And every master was a student. Right. So how do you feel about fear of success? A lot of people, oh. they want to be successful, but they're right. afraid to take that jump. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and the thing is, I hear a lot of people use that term, fear of success, and I used to say that same term. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I don't know that that's true. Mm -hmm. I think what it is is they they fear being judged, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, being successful means you got to put yourself all the way out. In, Most online, definitely, yeah. You know, and you can't worry about how people perceive you. Everybody's going to say something. Everybody's mm -hmm. going to judge you off of something. Mm -hmm. But if they're not if they're not supporting you, Oh, mm -hmm. What difference does it make? Right, right, you right. You know, so. And see, I'll say one thing. A lot of times people are afraid of success because that means that a lot of people will come with their hands out, you know, and I think they're afraid of having to, you know, maybe, you know, reject people and say, no, I'm sorry. You yeah. Know? And then that's a fear in itself, you know, yeah. worried about that, so. I love telling people no. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I, I have no problem telling I'd people no. I'd be like, no, no. Yeah. you know, straight up and down because a lot of times, you know, no will force people to, you know, get up on their grind and do things on their own right. versus have their hand out, you know. And I love when people tell me no. Because really? yeah. I was like, whoa, she told me no. So I, I'm trying to figure out on why I got the no. So I need to focus on 
why I got to know and figure out how can I get the yes, and then I'm be using like you know the art of persuasion. And I'm gonna right. go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on myself. Okay. Right. So there, there was a weakness somewhere that she told me no, but a lot of times when people tell you no, they, they you want to get a yes out of them somewhere down the line. Right. So let me ask you, when you guys first fell in with um fell in love with tech? Mm. Mm. That's a good question. That's a great question. Uh, I actually let me tell you a little more about me. So I started in tech at a very young age. Uh, my dad actually was a he was the first black engineer. Uh, for a major corporation. And so, of course, I would always get the latest and greatest technology and mm-hmm. make all my friends jealous. Go, like, wow, how did you get that? Or where did you get that? And so I was like, my dad got it for me. You know, I was yeah, excited. Yeah. And so it just, um, I was very young. Mm-hmm. And so, I, of course, it was just natural for me. Um, I said, you know, a lot of people told me, hey, technology, that's hard. I don't know if you want to go down that <laughs> route. That's, you know, it may take you forever to graduate. Or, right. But I was like, I didn't listen to the naysayers. Right, exactly. So many people told me, discouraged mm-hmm. me. And it's like, oh, you don't see me any black people in tech, so that's not for us. That's now, you, you us. recently made history somewhere, didn't you? I sure did. Talk um, about that. Actually, at my um, alma mater, Alabama State University, uh, uh-huh. they recognized me um, for women's history. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that, man. You, you <laughs> might, you might get it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, um, but yes, I was able to make um, Women's History Month, mm-hmm. and so just and actually, I was one of the first um, Black females that um, started a tech company in Alabama, and so um, of course now I'm in Georgia, so I'm looking to make some more history. Yeah, so. looking to make more history right. here. You see what I'm saying? So that's that, and that's probably why you know you, when you first met her, you was like, you know what? Yeah, that's, that's wifey right there. I'm no, no, actually, actually, that's a, that's, a, that's another story. Uh-huh. She actually did work for me. Okay, um, on one of my startups. She started out working for you. Yeah, she started out working for me, and then we became great friends. And then I, then God told me I needed to get myself together, and here we are. Yeah, definitely, yes. definitely. And that's see, those are relationship goals. And this is not a relationship show, but however, the way how people <laughs> connect yeah. Yeah. by their careers or just by working together, and then you have that like-minded experience and connection. It's like it's a chemical reaction, and it's all of a sudden like, okay, let's, let's, let's do this. And right because of that, out of all of that, you guys have created you know, the Power Tech Tour and mm-hmm. the Cloud Company. Talk mm-hmm. about a little bit more about the company, what's going on. Um, well, Cloud Tech Academy is going live in, say, another two weeks or mm-hmm. so. Yes, yeah, so we're um, adding more classes to it now, so that's the reason. Right, the right, right. Yeah. March, so. yeah, so we're adding a lot more options. Um, we've been really Microsoft-centric for the last couple of years, and so mm-hmm. we want to offer the whole gamut. And so we want to we want to offer enough classes that will impact, um, you know, people from many different backgrounds. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we're going to be a little more agnostic with, the skills that we train on. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we, we really just want to give people the skills they need to be successful yes. and to move on, to add value, and prolong their actual work career. Right, right. And that's what I like about these two because they always want to add value. Yes. It's important. You know, and it's not more than just addition. They be talking about multiplication. Yes. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> you know, that's 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 like a quicker way to add value to people, you know. And they, they always bring something to the table, and they always have positive words to say for encouragement, you know. And um, that's what I really like about them. Also, the Power of Tech Tour came, it actually included me into the tour. Yes, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. Right. Yeah, it's self-accountability for me. So if you're going to be there, that means i got to get right before well. before it comes. And so, you know, <laughs> I think it's always important because what we're really talking about is increasing salaries. We want people to make more money. Right. Um, and it's important that everybody has that opportunity to right. make money. Mm-hmm. But the flip side of making money and success is you need to be in shape. You need yeah. to be able to take care of yourself. You need to be in decent health so you can enjoy it with your family mm-hmm. and, right. and, and really be able to share and help other people because – at the end of the day, we know how to help people, you know, gain more abundance, mm-hmm. right? And just with that, just comes a lot more responsibility. So it's yeah. not just the money. So it's the personal responsibility. Mm-hmm. It's responsibility for the community. It's all those pieces that come in. Come yeah, in yeah. And that's, and that's a huge thing. So it's like when you're running a business or you're having a company, it's important that you keep yourself you know, healthy as much as possible, Mm -hmm. you know, um, you do the best you can. You don't have to be supermodel shape or whatever like that, but just make sure the report card from the doctors is okay. And everything else will fall into place. If you apply 
what you need to apply. Mm -hmm. So when you're running a company like these two and you have a lot of people that you're trying to connect with and increase success with, it's important to take care of yourself because you run out of steam at the wow, you know, yes. mentally, spiritually. Yeah. So yeah. it's a lot of hard work. So yes. how, how do you guys find time to deal you know, with the stress that comes with, you know, creating all these companies and, 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 and really diversifying and reaching out to everybody. How do you guys do it? Okay, so I'll just say you've actually helped us in a lot of ways on this because what we do know is we're sitting behind the computer desk quite a bit. Mm -hmm. We work from home quite a bit. And so, I mean, just the regimens that you've mentioned about stretching, about eating properly, you got to rest. I mean, that's mm -hmm. important. And yeah. so just learning the whole balance. Before, I would sit on the computer you know, 12 hours, 18 hours, you know, as long as I could until yeah. I got the task done. Yeah. And I realized that that's not good on your eyes yeah. or your body. Mm -hmm. You have to move. You have to and move. so that's what was very helpful for us that you have taught you, us. You know what happens? Because that's a common thing when you, you know, have a task and you have a goal and you're at your desk and you're at the computer. You're not thinking about anything else except the goal by itself. Mm -hmm. You know, so when the drilling and rush, the cortisol levels, the good ones, mm -hmm. rush, you're trying to get the job done. It's right. all about completion of the work. You're not thinking about stretching. You're not thinking about posture or uh, mm -hmm. drinking posture, yeah. water, whatever. Mm -hmm. Because right. only thing you're saying is like, I got to go. Mm -hmm. I got a deadline. Yes. And I'm not going to get any rest, any sleep until I see this thing. Exactly. I manifest this thing. You know, and just like you say, I'm going to get the website together. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you're going to get that website together. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, they probably put up a website in 20 minutes, these two right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't, don't, do be it? don't be telling them that. <laughs> it takes 18 hours. Uh, take, uh, right, right. <laughs> plus, plus, you know, plus six more. I, plus six more. I say that because right. they're so great at what they do when it comes down to technology. I'm like, yo. I see, I see Cam on Instagram. Cam have like um, f uh, two computers up, three computers <laughs> up, tablet, cell phone, Listen, we're graphs. Working. <laughs> we're working. We're working. I, I'm sitting there. I'm like, huh. Oh. <laughs> you, know, you know, that really that brings me to a good point. And, you know, we know that there's a lot of technology training out there, mm -hmm. but we also want to want people to understand that we actually do the work. Mm -hmm. We're yes. not just trainers. We're engineers, full engineers. Certified. 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 Yes. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we, we move the data. We do the migrations. We do the, uh, the development, everything. So mm -hmm. yes. we do it ourselves. And so because we... You know, we do it every single day. We mm -hmm. keep up with the trends. Yeah. And so the cool, one of the cool things about our training is we're, we're able to focus on the things that are really important mm -hmm. yes. and really pinpoint those things. And right. what that does is when it comes to getting a job, you know, it helps you understand the value of what you've actually learned. Right, so, right, yeah. yeah. So how important is it for you guys to, you know, to be on one step in front of the competition by keeping up on the latest trends? Are you, are you not phased by that? No, it's it's, <laughs> a, it's it's a competition. I feel like yes. I feel like we it's just like fitness, right? You got to stay ahead. Um, you know, we are partners, and and because we do teach it, we we really try hard to stay ahead and stay mm -hmm. stay in the curve and and uh, keep keep fresh as much as possible so that we mm -hmm. can share with our students and and things always change, so we have to, and that's the beauty of it. Right. And so, and the way that's beneficial to our students is. If you come in and you learn a new technology, there's no history behind that technology. Right, right. So if you know how to do it, you know how to do it, and yeah. that's your experience. Yeah, you can yeah. do it. <laughs> so how, how do you guys balance each other out, though? I just listened to what she said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty that's, much that's it for me. That's pretty much it. Learn yeah. that from a married man. Yeah, yes. <laughs> he's learned that. No, but balance, like you mentioned, that's important. I mean, mm -hmm. we still have to have our date night. Yeah. You know, we have to put our time in for us. Right. We have to have our spiritual life where we mm -hmm. put time for, you know, prayer and church and things like Absolutely. that. So, right. I mean, you know, now we're learning the fitness part mm -hmm. even more and know that that's important. So, yeah. we make sure we get up early and, you know, have time for that. So, I mean, it's just about... Having an internal calendar in your head, okay, mm -hmm. this time we need to do this. So, so you guys have a great work-life balance. I mean, yes, you, we, we've had to learn that. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't always that. like this. But yeah, yes. yeah and it's, we're constantly working on that because, you know, we're, we're given, we give a lot of ourselves mm -hmm. to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. yes. And so we know that we, we have to stay balanced and we have to shut it down at a certain point. Yeah. But, yes. you know, we're dedicated to what we're doing because we believe God is directing mm -hmm. us to do mm -hmm. it. And mm -hmm. so... It still can be exhausting, so yeah. we have to make sure we make that time. Yeah, for each get other. get the rest. Mm -hmm. You know, get, increase the water, right. yes. the exercise. Right. And I see a lot of people don't know that it's like 
you have to put in the work physically yes. if you want to push yourself, you know, uh, professionally. You mm-hmm. know, it doesn't matter what industry that you're in. If you run a successful business and you're building it from the ground up, mm-hmm. you can't neglect yourself, Mm-mm. you know, because at the end of the day, when you need your business to flourish the most, right. you're not going to be able to do that because you're too worn out. Sure. You know, and, and I have been there before where I actually experienced burnout, mm-hmm. and so I don't want that experience again. I mean, I had to learn, yeah, you know, and I wasn't doing those things that you mentioned, I mm-hmm. wasn't balancing myself, and yeah. I did see the, the issues that popped up, yeah. Me. I mean, so. I, a lot of people, you know, they don't balance themselves out when they, mm-hmm. especially entrepreneurs or busy mm-hmm. corporate executives, it's hard for them to find the balance, mm-hmm. you know, so they just go with the flow, and all of a sudden, you know, they're like, oh my god, I. I just can't go no more. It's like because they don't they don't have that balance. Exactly. You know, it's just it's just crazy about that. And it's easy to get there because to be successful, you have to go. Yeah, and you have to outwork everybody. Mm-hmm. You have to grind hard, mm-hmm. um, and and you got to give God the glory, of course. But right, you know, just to just to get to that spot. Right. Um, and we, you know, and the, and the other thing is, as as we well know, we have to work harder. Right. Because of the industry we're right. in, mm-hmm. and. You know, we don't, we don't, we want people to still be aware. It's harder, but the ceiling is higher. Right. N- not harder in terms of the work, but just understanding the dynamics of what's happening mm-hmm. and, and understanding how to maneuver through the actual industry. So you basically you embrace the challenges and Absolutely. You always yeah. raise the Absolutely. bar. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Because you guys, like, I know people that's in tech, but they don't move the way y'all move. And I, when every time I see these two, and I'd be like, oh man, <laughs> you know. And I was like, they be moving. Oh, yeah. You yeah. Gotta you keep know, moving. you got to keep gotta, moving. You got to go. Yeah. You got to move with the cloud. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want our people to be left behind. Mm-hmm. And that's why we So if there's not, if nobody else, we have to do it. Who else is going to do it? Right, you right. Know, I, we, we can't sit around and, and, and wait for somebody else to do the things that we know. And it's important for us to kind of stay ahead and, and, and bring our people um as much as possible mm-hmm. to get to that point. So I got I got a question for Ms. Jamil here. Yes, sir. What was what was the um, keynote speaker for the the Hope Forum, the Hope Forum Foundation? Was yes. that right? Yes. When you get that phone call, what was that about? How do you feel about that? How what do I was, feel about yeah, it? Yeah, what would you go, what was going through you when you got that phone call or the invitation to speak? Oh, the invitation, speaking? yes. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I was very excited because it was especially around technology mm-hmm. and just like what we're talking about, just, you know, learning and growing in that and being, especially around diversity. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I was extremely excited about that, being able to partake in that and just, you know, talk about my experiences and um, how I was over, how I was able to overcome certain things in that. And so I was very excited. Yeah. Yeah. I look forward to even more. So yeah, yeah, definitely. Cause you, you, the, the, um, Tech boss, lady tech boss, lady tech boss, lady, lady, say about her. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see her husband. Yeah. Just see about her. Yeah, see she's her. legit. See about her. So for the Power of Tech tour, how many cities you got planned? Oh, um, I, I think we have ten now. Mm-hmm. Ten cities. Yeah. On yes. tour. Yeah. It's like coming ten. next to you yeah. soon. Yeah. Yes. So we got dates being announced shortly. Probably the next couple weeks. New dates. Um, so we're excited about that. Yeah, and, yeah, that's huge. You know, we, we got we got some special things coming up yeah. that we're gonna be able to announce in a couple weeks yeah. that I think is gonna be a game changer for everybody. Yeah, that's see, <laughs> and you know what? For me personally and professionally, I love being around game changers. Right. You know, if you're changing the game and you say, "Hey, put me on the team," and you talk about change the game, oh, I'm yeah. there. Right. Right. You know, because I'm I'm always wanted to be. You know that guy that's on the team that somebody can pass the ball to, right? Because if you pass the ball to me, I always feel like I'm either going to dunk, or I'm going to throw a touchdown, or I'm going to run it, I'm right. going to do something. Right. I'm not going to fumble. Yeah. You know, so got, I, I got, love that. We got something special for you. Oh, uh, see, oh, yeah. we got yeah. we got something. We're going to talk off air. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Got something special for see, you. I see, can't wait to tell you. See, that's yes. what, they got something special for me. Yeah. So we're gonna need another interview for this next. Yeah. Week. Oh yeah, yeah most definitely. Week. Most definitely. Slide. You see. I love I love the specials. Yeah, you know yeah, it's gonna be exclusive. We might have to go sit in the grass or something. Uh, you know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. See, 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 they just made Terrence my soul day. Sundays. Yeah, <laughs> just, they just made my day. You know, because 
inter- interesting enough, when I came over to your house and they, they was talking about, oh, we're going to do a show with you, um, um, Cooking with Terrence H. Mm-hmm. And I was like, cool. And then uh, a year went by, then I came up with another show, mm-hmm. and then the memory came back up again, and then I came with this show. And I was like, man. <laughs> You know, I was like, we, we really spoke all that stuff in existence. Right. We manifested it, and now you're actually here as guests on my show. I mean, it's beautiful. You know, it's yes. a beautiful thing. So God be moving around. Yes. Like, oh, yeah. man. You know, and yeah. I'm, I'm just so happy to have y'all here because, you know, y'all doing some positive, positive things, man. Thank it's you. like, we're excited thank you. to be here. That's yeah. great. We all motivate us. We're like, we got to get on our ball now. Man, yeah. love, <laughs> love it. And see, love that's it. The, that, and that's the whole thing. That's all the key about wellness. You get around people who's going to motivate you. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter what. What industry you're in, Correct. you know what I'm saying? You men and mesh, and you be like, oh, y'all motivate right. me. Mm-hmm. You're forcing us to level up. Yeah, right. level <laughs> up. Because I'm, I'm be honest with you, I'm I'm thinking about coming, learning more about tech. Let me y'all tell you something. Let me tell you, you know, something. It's a real thing right <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, it's a real thing. You know, I'm looking at it like, man, I need to, I need to touch on that. Oh, yeah. Listen, we got a our boot camp starts tonight, yes. so it doesn't even we're. Ne- no days off. Oh, man. So, so Okay, just, talk about the boot camp. Let's talk about that right quick. So, I mean, the boot camp is essentially you, you come in and we just teach you, you know, the SharePoint Office 365 skills. Mm-hmm. And you, you learn everything you need to know about, um, about these pieces. And then, you know, we go to market. You know, we want to give you the skills you need to be successful and, and land a SharePoint or Office 365 mm-hmm. job. And we've had a lot of success with that. Mm-hmm. So we want to continue to help people, impact people. And, and um, you know, the main thing is these skills are cloud skills. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of flexibility and it's a new technology. Mm-hmm. So the sky's the limit. Wow. Yeah. And so just to take it a little further, I mean, also what we cover in our boot camp is we go over, um, you know, job um your resume, of course, making sure that it stands out and that it has the keywords that you need mm-hmm. in order to even be pulled from the right, group. right. And so then we also help you with your interviewing skills as well. And so um, a lot of times people don't realize that they already have a story that they've already, you know, accomplished, mm-hmm. and so they just don't know. And so what we try to do is help formulate the stories around what you've already done. Right. And so um, that's another part of our boot camp. I mean, we do homework assignments and labs and things like that. So, I mean, it's a real intense boot camp. Right. You learn right. all the skills that you need for the actual job. So, mm-hmm. yeah. so it's, not, it's not one to just come in and think you're going to earn some certification. you got to really put the work yeah, in Yeah, you for. put the work into yeah. it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, we, yeah, yeah. we want you to be, because you're, you're representing us after mm-hmm. you go. So, mm-hmm. you know, we, we want to keep our reputation. So, mm-hmm. you, you know, we want you to be, have the tools you need to be successful and go out in the marketplace and be able to compete and yeah. grow. Yeah, and be successful. If, if there's no competition, then you it doesn't it's not going to force you to grow. Absolutely. You know, the more competition out there for you and your brand, it's like it forces you to be more creative using that left side of the brain. Sure. Like, what can I create? How can I be different? How can I stand out? You know, how mm-hmm. can I see what the competition is doing and then move differently you know or strategically mm-hmm. you know and a lot of people don't look at it like that they just run with the whatever the competition is doing so everybody looks the same everybody moves the same they stay in the same all they use all the same terminology so it's like it's nothing to really separate you you know so you really have to diversify yourself and, right. and be yourself and be, yep. exactly. be, be, who, your, be who god made you to be so you can't see Cameron <laughs> stepped into the mic. <laughs> that's all you got to be is yourself. It's, you, yourself is all you need. Yeah, that's all you need. Use what's in between your ears. Yeah, that's you it. know, and then manifest your dreams. You know, and that's it. So if they, if if individuals are not adding value to you, then you need to pretty much, you know, um, remove those people. I totally Absolutely. agree with that. You know, yes. So it's because a big deal because you know even when business is like you're dealing with a lot of stresses on top of yes. that and then you have individuals who may add more toxic to the stress and you got to yeah. remove everything in order for you to move forward and a lot yeah. of people when you're dealing with wellness like mental wellness and emotional mm-hmm. and spiritual mm-hmm. wellness you really had to analyze like what's stressing you, who yes. is stressing you, right. why they stressing right. you, and then you have to come up with you know concrete solutions on how how you're going to relieve the stress, yes. so you can be more competitive in your business, and be you know really marketed the way you need to market it, right. and but people they don't understand that the importance of that. I think I think you have to get um, balanced with your 
with uh, your feelings, mm-hmm. right? Like our feelings can be a little overwhelming, and so sometimes we got to balance the mind yeah. and the feelings, and I think that's what all of us have to do yeah. better mm-hmm. at any given time. Right, really have to utilize the emotional intelligence. Intelligence. Oh, yes. Yes. If you Absolutely. don't do it, you're going to fail, you're going to crash and burn because mm-hmm. it's going to be too much for you to do. Absolutely. And, you know, and like you just said, you know, just get in contact with your feelings, you know. So, I mean, okay, so in business, you guys in business, how, how often do you have to really, really, you know, think logically versus thinking emotionally since you got it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. going to <laughs> Go ahead. First of all, I had to learn not to think with my emotions. Of mm-hmm. course, being a woman, you're going to have our emotions, you know. And so, um, but you can't make decisions on that. And so, I mean, you have to make the right decision that's going to be beneficial for your company mm-hmm. because you don't want to miss out, you know, our prime example, um, there was time, there was a time where a client wanted me to do, let's just say, a website for them. And so, um, but I knew that they didn't really have the money. And, of course, that's where my feelings came in. I wanted to see that person succeed. Mm-hmm. They didn't have the money. And so I took some time to try to help them. Well, it ended up taking way more time than I needed mm-hmm. to give. And so I ended up uh, almost missing out on a larger opportunity because I was leading it with my emotions. With your heart. With my heart. And you can't do that every time in business. Right, definitely. Which, you know, now we have a nonprofit. You want to talk about that? We're ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> Let's get into that nonprofit, bro. It. Come on. Well, <laughs> so, okay, so let me take a step back. Mm-hmm. I think business has to be business. Right. Right? If we provide a service, then you pay for the service. Mm-hmm. We deliver high quality service. And so I'm, I'm, I'm less willing to negotiate mm-hmm. with that. You know, I think there's ways to finance things, right? But mm-hmm. um, I'm not going to work for free. And I, I don't have that expectation of anybody that I'm doing business with. Mm. And so I want to make that very clear. Right. And so what we wanted to do is we actually turned the Power of Tech Tour. It's, going, it's actually called the Power of Tech um, Foundation. Mm-hmm. And what it's going to be essentially is a training hub for people to to get uh, technology training, and and we can do that under a nonprofit uh, status. And so we're working on putting those pieces together. Yeah. But you know, hey, we I didn't plan to announce it, but hey, it's all it's all good. I asked a question there. She's like, I'm gonna let you do. I'm gonna let you do foundation it's, it's all good. I mean, the goal is to, of course, work from the grant side and 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 really work on. Um, getting donations to support people that can't afford the, right. the, the technology training. Right. So, you know, we had to have that arm to make that happen so mm-hmm. we can um, help more people. You right. Know? And so that's the goal. Right. So if you're lacking in finances and you want to get into tech, you can reach out to them for their um, they, their foundation and actually get the right resources for you to really get into yeah. it. Yeah. Exactly. You know, and that's a huge, huge thing. But, you know, what do you tell people who – who say that technology made some people lazy? Oh. That, well, that's going around in a minute. Yeah. So, I mean, it does make you lazy. You know, at the end of the day, that's why we have to have this balance, right? Mm-hmm. right. Because we're able to work from home. We're able to get do everything from home. And, and so the technology actually does make us a little lazy and we become less active mm-hmm. right. per se. And so... You know, we, we have to realize we're still living in a real world. Mm-hmm. And, you know, sitting in front of a computer all day does have its ramifications. Mm-hmm. So I do see their point, and that's why the balance is important. And yeah. we have to be um, accountable for ourselves and right. make sure we get the right balance. Right. I know people have said, you know, they, they ask me, oh, you know, you always in front of a computer. But I was like, yeah, you know, I have, um, I get up every hour on hour and I stretch. Right. And mm-hmm. I, you know, now, another part I like about technology is certain devices that you can use, put on your wrist, I'm going to call the name out, that yeah. it, it'll tell you, get up and move. Okay, yeah. you got 82 steps. So I like that part about technology. Yeah, no, that's cool. You know, yeah. definitely, you know, and um, I, I use that type of technology to monitor, um, you know, how many steps and calorie intakes and if I even monitor my, my stress levels sure. or my heart rate. So mm-hmm. when it comes down to technology, a lot of people say technology made you lazy. I said, well, what part of technology are you using? Right. right. You know, <laughs> what are you using? Because you know, if you talk about video games all day, then maybe, 
But if you're using some stuff that's going to help, you know, monitor your wellness, mm -hmm. you know, then technology is a beautiful thing. Or either technology where it comes down to helping you to learn faster, mm -hmm. sure. you know, to help you advance, you know, to where you want to go. You know, if you think about long, when we was coming up, we only had encyclopedias. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's in our fingertips. Yeah, you know, now all of a sudden, just hit a butt, hit a link, and you're gone. Right. Or uh, MapQuest or uh, right. Maps, you know, now you GPS and you're there. You're there. You know, mm -hmm. so technology is like the bomb. Yeah, I just want to add to that. I mean, you're right. It can make you lazy because I know we use these, uh, this app that is for groceries. Have mm -hmm. you heard of that one? Yeah. You order your groceries and mm -hmm. you deliver it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so my thing is that now we don't have to necessarily go into the store and pick out things, whereas that was our exercise at one yeah. point. Yeah. Just use that as another alternative. Say, okay, I may not go to the grocery store, but I will go around the park. I may mm -hmm. go somewhere else. Just divert yeah. the yeah. time. But then when you be when you become super busy with your goals and you're in front of the computer mm -hmm. and you, you're that close to completion, you don't want to get up and go to the store or move around. <laughs> you, you know, you focusing on getting the job done. Right. Exactly. You know, because you yeah. know this is going to benefit so many people. Right. Yeah. You right. know, and you like when you finish, you be like, oh, this is my baby right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so I understand. I get it. Yeah, because if we're, if we're teaching, you know, if we have a class, if we're teaching and it's 8 o'clock and we hadn't had dinner, then she's like, uh, let me let me, get up, let me just hit the there. app. No, no, let me just hit the app if, if something's not there, right, and just get it delivered so we can keep on yeah, yeah. keep on moving. And that's yeah. where it becomes really efficient. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, yeah, that so works. Then, yeah, so when it, when the train's over, then the food's at the door, and then yeah, it's, it's eat time. Yeah. You can eat, take a break, eat, um, bring up your levels, yeah. and then come back and get back to work. Right. That's right. Right. You know, so that's one of the benefits from working at home and being creative. You have a partner like that. That really increased the creativity mm -hmm. and really balance y'all out and actually bring y'all even closer. Because I'm pretty sure when y'all come up with some type of uh, plan, uh, you know, y'all high fiving and everything, oh, yeah. you know, it's like, yeah. oh, this this is going to work yeah. right here. Yeah. You know, because I can feel the energy, mm -hmm. you know, right now. Mm -hmm. Especially if you say you got something special for me, I'm like, oh, I got yeah, something. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> it's real. You know, because yeah. look, they, they, I'm gonna tell you, man. You know, just just being around you guys, and you're so creative, and you're so knowledgeable about tech. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I've seen you in your home how y'all set up a room just that fast. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> you know, I was like, yo, they they really got it going on with that. You know, okay. and then just recently I saw the the green screen in the room that you had going you gotta come on. Come to the house. That's at the house. Yeah, yeah, you know we moved. So yeah, see what I'm saying. Yeah. That's that. That's that. They got the whole the whole thing set up over there. It's showtime. It is showtime. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Come, uh, next time you need to come get some of that chicken. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> now, you know I'm gonna touch you on that now. Yeah, yeah so, that chicken was legit. I know. <laughs> and he had so much chicken on the grill today. I saw it on on, on Instagram. Yeah. I said, oh, bro, we are gonna have to touch you on that, man. Yeah. That's yeah. a lot. Well, at least you're getting grill healthy meals. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to do more on the grill. Yeah. And obviously, when it's warmer and it's a lot easier just to kind of throw it out there and yeah. get it done. And so. Um, yeah, I gotta do better. I, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I'm gonna be more accountable. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> hey, even we all fall short. Yeah, you know, even right. I do. You know, sometimes I don't want to go do what I do. Right. I just want to lay there, and you know, I have clients, and I have to peel myself <laughs> out to bed five in the morning. I'm like, yo, this is, I don't want to do this. Right. You know, and I'll be like, okay, I, I need to do something else. <laughs> yeah. So I have my moments too, and right. you know, sometimes I, I want the pizza. Sometimes I want. You know, the snicker bar. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's and it's okay. You treat yeah. yourself to it. There's no like, okay, now we have to refocus back on what we need to focus on later yeah. on or the next day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stay on stay on top of that. And so it, I have to ask when you, when we eat that, we have to ask ourselves like, you know, okay, what's going on with us in our life right now? Why are we craving this chocolate? Why do we right. are we emotional about something? <laughs> are we upset? Yeah. Are we stressed? What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. We have to really ask ourselves you know, what's happening or why we're attempting to eat all this junk, mm. you know. But, you know, when I work in corporate America and I have corporate clients, you know, it's like um, people are more focused on deadlines. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, getting uh, they may have a boss that really getting on them and, you know, and they, they become stressed. Sure. 
True. So if you ever notice in corporate America, is a vending machine on about two or three on every floor, depending yeah. on where you are. Yeah. So it's, it's mm-hmm. the salty and the sugary stuff that always gets you. Yeah. Or, you know... Uh, that's the devil. That's the devil. Yeah, that's the devil. You know, it's like... It, it, if, but why does it good? <laughs> I know. Yeah, because that's... Devil that. creams. O- o- Swiss rolls, opioid hormone that that yeah. just like the hair on, yeah. it, it, it triggers the same thing in the brain. Sure, they need to tax that all yeah. the all the candy yeah. and everything like that. Yeah. But you know, it, that's what that's what's happening. You know, and um, for the most part, we have to pay attention, ask ourselves why are we doing. But when we working hard in front of that computer and we building stuff technically. You know, we want those things that's going to really help us push us through because we get that rush, we get that yeah, sugar, that boost, yeah. you get that boost, and you'd be like, "Oh, look what I just created!" Mm-hmm. For you know, you done ate like a big bag of Doritos, right? And a Coke. I'm, I'm guilty. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so guilty. guilty? I'm yeah. guilty like a mug. But I'm gonna do better. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but, but but definitely, you know, as long as you know that you're gonna do better, then yeah, you, then we'll you do will, then you will do better, yes. you know. Yeah. But at the end of the day, the final product is look what we did. We we've yes. done, we build, right. you know, so much right now. We're doing so much to give back to the community to help other people advance their careers or get them a new career, yeah. um, feed their families, yeah. you know, education. You know, and that's that I commend y'all for that. That's huge. That's a big deal. Well, Thank you. you know, the biggest thing I want to make sure I say is, you know, technology is the great equalizer. For so say that again in the mic. Te- te- <laughs> technology is the great equalizer for our community. Right. Because it doesn't require a degree necessarily. Mm-hmm. It doesn't require a lot of um, experience, but it does require the skill. Yes. And that's something that we all can obtain. And you're talking about doing this for dramatically less than going to college. Mm-hmm. You know, going to a state college it costs you forty grand. Right. You can get a boot camp for four thousand bucks. Right. Wow. And go in with no debt. With no debt. Mm-hmm. And so that's what we're offering. We're offering the alternative way for anybody. So, and it's for everybody. It's for kids coming straight out of high school. Mm-hmm. It's for people who want to change their career. It's for people who want to add more value to their career. It's for people who want to redefine their career. Yes, and that's, that's right. something that we're really focused on. The, the people that are 50 to 60 years old, we want them to understand that they can get new um, new skills and become valuable to the market. Right, right. You know, right. it doesn't matter if you've been doing something, you've been a project manager for, you know, 30 years and you've never done anything technically. But mm-hmm. we're going to give you the other pieces so that you can go and be marketable again. And we're going to help you redefine yeah, yeah. So. That's that's great information because most people who are 50, 60 years old, they've been working in their career for 30 years. Mm-hmm. And they feel like this is it. I can't do nothing else. But, but now, you yeah, but you can. You always can. But mm-hmm. you get into a sedentary lifestyle mm-hmm. in that job. Right. You know, and then fear kicks in. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's, it's huge fear. Of, because of being fired or, yeah. you yeah. know, stuff like that. And I understand it, you yeah. know, but at the end of the day, you want to face those fears. Oh, yeah. And the way we face them is getting new skills so yeah. we can be competitive in the market. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's the way you really face them. Yeah. Because when people need you, they don't care about your color. Right. <laughs> they care about your, your skills. Or, yeah. All your gender. You know, right. they want to know, oh, you can do this. And you show them that you're going to do it. Then you add value to them. Yeah. And they add value to you. And it's a win-win situation. Right. Exactly. So when, when everybody wins, guess what? Your wellness increases. Exactly. It's happiness. It's happiness. Yes. It's joy. It's joy. It's more vacations. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's right. more money in your pocket. Right. So, you know, they said money can't buy you happiness, but it sure can make you comfortable. Right. That's what it's know? all about. <laughs> that's what it's all you about. You know, so definitely, definitely. So that's great information to know, man. Yeah. So, you know, I like the fact that, you know, we, we, we tie it all into the wellness component because most people, they just go hard and they're so stressed all the time. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, I'm around people, I'm like, oh, I'll be looking at them like, Sigh. y'all stress all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like balling up a fist. Mm. And that's just how your heart and your blood vessels and everything is. If you stress all the time, you can't you can't release, you can't let go. But people don't understand that they don't they really don't know why they're that way, but a lot of times it's it's, it's the career that they in. Oh, I know why they're that way. They don't make enough money. Yeah, well, hey, see. 
It, they we, don't make can, enough money. Can we be candid about making money? Oh, yeah, money? yeah. Let's, let's do this. Let's, <laughs> Listen. Financial wellness. <laughs> financial Listen. wellness. It's Talk a, to him, Cam. Yeah, so the, the thing we have to be mindful of, people say, it's, oh, it's not all about the money. Well, what is it about? Mm-hmm. We have to pay bills. Gotta we take all want to. Yeah, we got to take care of our family. We want, we want our kids in good schools. Mm-hmm. We, we want to be able to get out of a bind on a rainy day, which means we need to have a savings. If you're not a doctor or an attorney, your only other option to make six figures at some point is technology. It's technology. Yes. That's it. I mean, that's, that's all they really value. Right. And the cool thing about technology is you can do it without being in a ton of debt. Correct. <laughs> Information. I'm just trying to... Drop some jewels on us. Oh, it's, those are golden nuggets. Yeah, yeah. And so you're going to hear a lot more at the Power Tech Tour. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about how to really get to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah th- this is just a piece of it. This is just a small piece yeah. of it. <laughs> yeah. Because I guarantee you, now I saw the list of speakers, and they look like some very dynamic individuals, and I can't wait to hear what comes out of these people's mouths, you yeah. know, because yeah. I already know... I'm like, well, this is going to be very informative. Just, I'm, I'm going to learn a lot here, yes. right. you know. And that's the exciting thing about it with me, because I'm, 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 I'm me. I'm going to learn a lot here, right. you and let know. Me just say too, this is not just going to be. You're going to learn a lot, absolutely, from the panelists. You're going to learn a lot from the speakers, but you're also going to learn the technology and what it actually is. Mm-hmm. So we'll do demonstrations and show you. Hey, you can learn this if you know just the regular office suite. You can learn this. If you know how to utilize Facebook, you can learn this. And so this is what we're going to actually show you. We're going to show you exactly what these jobs are um, offering and what they are requiring. And so we'll let you know. Yeah. We're going to show you what they're hiding from you. Uh Uh-oh. Exactly. What they won't tell you. Yeah. So you heard that now. She said, if you know how to do Facebook, you can do this. You can do this. I know a lot of y'all, if y'all listening and y'all come back and revisit this tape, y'all going to get excited about this. (laughs) And then... Mr. Harrison says they're going to show you mm-hmm. what they're hiding from you. Mm-hmm. Yes. So that's anything that's hidden, once you find it, you unlock the secret of that's that. That's it. Right. You know, so yeah. I'm curious yeah. about it. I'm, I'll be in the tour listening yeah. with my notepad and that's my a major phone. Key. That's a major key, by the way. That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the slogan right there. That's a major key alert. Mm-hmm. That's right. Major you key know, alert. Major key alert. And um, you need to get with this tour, the Power of Tech tour, June 9th. June 9th. That's right. That's where we're kicking it off. Changing off. lives. That's yeah. Changing we're lives. We're yeah. starting at home. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. and w- we are looking forward to everybody participating. And we're just really excited to kind of give you what God gave us. Yeah. You know, yeah. to give. And so, um, you know, we really want to help people. It's the main thing, and we're doing it with love. It's all it's all about the love, and it's all about the passion too. Yeah. Because you know, when you give back with the passion, mm-hmm. then everything it comes back to you full full. Right. You know, it comes right, right back into you. And obviously, you guys are heavenly blessed, and you know, you you're very knowledgeable about tech, mm-hmm. and you know, you're like, hey, we can give back to the community. We can help other people change their lives. You know, across the board, and so when when uh, you touch a lot of people's lives already, mm-hmm. you know, and they change their lives. You know, they 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 take care of families. They you know pay whatever they want. You know, and, and that's a good thing. It's well, always good. You know, no, but you know what we both realized was it's not just about them taking about care of their family. It's about their kids. It's yeah. about their mm-hmm. kids' kids. Right. Because right. We're, we're trying to set up generational wealth. Right. Exactly. There you go. For our people. And if go. one person has makes a certain amount of money, that means they can invest more, right. which means they can leave more for their children mm-hmm. to start a little bit faster, right. to be more successful a little bit faster. And that's the whole goal. Mm-hmm. And so we're looking at empowering the next 100 years or the next right. 200 years. And that's, and see, that is, that's financial wealth. Yes. You know, that, that's a, a financial wellness, excuse me. You know, mm-hmm. and um, when you're saying leaving generational wealth, when you're leaving things for your kids' kids, mm-hmm. Right. Your grandkids, you know, yeah. your last name will carry on. Yeah, you legacies. Know, to, yeah, legacies. And not just, oh, I got a career and I worked someplace for 30 years and they gave you a plaque and a gold watch, right. you right. know. Right. You know, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, here you go. Kick you out. Yeah, you like know, that. you stress, yeah. 40 pounds, overweight, you know, yeah. all that behind in you. Mm-hmm. 
behind in your mortgage and <clears throat> you know all that <clears throat> stuff like that. But you know what you're saying about generational wealth, and we need to educate our communities like that more. And you know, f for you guys to step in there and put the tour together and drop major key nuggets, yeah. and and. That's major. I, I mean, I just, I just fell in love with it. I'm like, of course, I need to be a part of that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I need to learn all I can learn yeah. right now. I mean, we, we know we're our brother's keeper, mm -hmm. yeah. and if we don't do it, nobody will. So right. We have to do it. We have to. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, y'all, well, y'all doing it. You know. <laughs> so, so far, what's the response from the the tour in? Oh and the foundation, everything. Right. First of all, tickets are selling, so you better right. get a ticket. Yeah, please yeah. get it. Oh, <laughs> Don't <God>. play yourself. <laughs> 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 the, the tickets are selling. Um, we're almost out of VIP tickets. Yes. Which is yeah. usually the other way around, right. right? Yeah, definitely. So we only have a few of those, so get your VIP tickets, of course. Um, but you don't get the regular admission. Just get there. Just get, get there. there. And see, yeah. right now we have the early bird specials until May the 15th. So you still have time to save a little bit if you just want to kind of see what it is but not quite sure. Then go ahead and just get the early bird tickets. Yeah. Save what? a little bit of money. Yeah, what buy, buy one for your grandkids. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Buy one for whoever. Mm -hmm. what, what about the vendor in space? Vendor. We do have vendor space. We have vendor space available. So you can definitely, you know, there's options there for you to get a booth. Mm -hmm. And that's all at um, PowerTechTour.com. Right. Mm -hmm. um, all the vendor information, all the ticket information is right there. Right. You can see the list of speakers. You can see the tour dates. And mm -hmm. uh, just take a look at the site. I mean, I think yeah. you'll have all the, get all the information you need. Yeah, I want, I want to say something about the people who, who vendor at certain events. You know, certain events, you, you need to pick and choose what events you want to vendor to. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you spend a nice fee for a booth, and then you're not – recouping the money back off sales or whatever, nobody's vending your thing. You need to pick and choose what events you want to be set up in. Mm -hmm. The Power Tech Tour is going to have a lot of people there who are in the tech industry and around that's leaving generational wealth. So if you want to set up a booth there, that's yes. where you need to be. That's true. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we tell everybody. You I mean, know, we're yeah. talking about make, everybody making money in a legit way. And, mm -hmm. you know, we have people that come up to us about, is this network marketing? Mm -hmm. It's like, huh? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's that type of nonsense we get right. sometimes. Yeah. And it's like, no, we're talking about getting actual skills, getting educated so you mm -hmm. can get a career that just happens to pay more money. Right, right. right. And we all can that's use it. more money. Right. You know, first step. I know my mother's always told me she she to this day she, when I give her money she said when you, every time you bless your bless your mother, you be blessed. Amen. You know, so mom, That's if you good. listening, uh, you come back to listen to this, we we about to bless you. That's right. You right. know, and, right. and so and that increase, increases wellness all over the all over my household. You know, I mean, just having them seeing me having this platform, sure. you know, mm -hmm. is like a, a sure. increase and. Yeah, I only want to bring in, you know, quality content when it comes sure. like, you know, individuals like yourself that come in that's I'd say you, you've had some good folks on here. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, congrats. Um, thank you. I appreciate that. It's it's so many people like the the list is lining up right now. Right. You know, I'm just picking and choosing. Like I know I want to have you guys in there so we can promote the tour. You know, yes, it's I very appreciate important. That. Really yeah, appreciate man. That. You know, we team members. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Squad <laughs> you know, goals. Yeah, squad <laughs> goals. You know, so when you when you talk about that, it's very important mm -hmm. to get people in there, you know, and, and get the education, get the information that's going to lead to um, a better lifestyle. Mm -hmm. and when you mm -hmm. when you have a better lifestyle, then you actually increase your lifespan. Right. That's true. You know, you make better choices. Right. You have um, more disposable passive income where you can just you know, take care of your family, eat, eat well, live right, mm -hmm. right, do the best you can to be really be comfortable. And when you are comfortable, you live longer. Mm -hmm. Right. And <laughs> you're less stressed. More. Yeah, you're able to help more. Yeah. You, you, you're able to pull people up, right. you know, out of stressful situations. But going back to what you saying, you got to say no to some people. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. You know, you gotta it's got to be discernment. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, there has to be real discernment. When you're giving, mm -hmm. you know, it has to come from God. Yeah. The one thing I know about Cameron, when he about to get 
deep in it, he leans into the mic. With his, listen, <laughs> major key alert. <laughs> major. <laughs> and the other time, he leaned back. But when he got something, he'd be like, oh, look now. <laughs> he come you gotta in let and, him know. Yeah, you got to let him know. And listen. That's, yeah, you got to be for real. So anyway, yeah. you know, tell everybody where they can find you guys at and the foundation, everything. Let everybody know. Okay, so if you want to come out to the Power Tech Tour, you can go to www.power of, I'm sorry, powerofTechTour.com. Right. Yes, perfect. Okay. And so um, that's definitely where we will be. Uh, we have a long list of speakers, great speakers, um, people who have actually been in this industry, and uh, you'll definitely get a lot of great information. So, Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, www.powerofTechTour.com. <laughs> uh, I am Grand Vision on Instagram. Follow Power of Tech on Instagram. Follow Lady Tech Boss uh -huh. on Instagram. Be inspired. And and his favorite thing, God is my plug. That's right. Yes. God is my plug. Like God listen, is my plug. Listen, that's where we get the power. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of people, <laughs> you know, a lot of people yeah. be like, oh, oh, yeah. Let me not forget. Live motivated today is where you can get the book. Oh yeah, living yeah. life without fear. Right. Live, we didn't even talk too much about listen, that. Okay, it, it, hold on. We got five yeah. minutes. We winding it up. Okay. Okay, yeah. Because okay, okay, yeah, he yeah. know me. I get to talk and yeah. no break. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, Live Motivated Today is where you can find the, the book about living life without fear. Um, I think that's just the most important piece for all of us, right, mm -hmm. to understand rational and irrational fears. Um, rational fear being, hey, I, I was in a car accident. You know, I got hit by a tractor trailer. Mm -hmm. So that would make you leery about getting on the road. Right, right. But just to hear about it and, and then still have a problem with it, that's irrational. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so that's really the how we kind of break those pieces down and understanding the pieces of fear. So you definitely get more information when you read the book. Um, but we just have to understand that we have to step out on faith. We have to take action. Right. And get out of our comfort zone. Take massive action. Take massive action. Yes. Massive, get massive Get out of the dead action. zone. Yeah, yeah, get out of the dead zone where there's, <laughs> there's no signals, there's no, there's no power there. Yeah, yeah. And you want to get connected yeah. to the yeah. energy and the synergy, yeah. you know, around individuals who's going to make you come alive. Right. Oh, my goodness. You know? <laughs> so, so, yeah. so my pastor told me, he said, um, well, he talked to us, he said the, the comfort zone is, you're basically not doing nothing so you don't get anything. Yep. Yes. Oh. Right? So the dead zone, the dead zone is when you're doing, you're something. doing something, but you're getting nothing. Oh. You're doing a lot of stuff, but you're getting nothing. Yeah, you're just in a figure yeah. eight. Yeah, you're just in a figure eight. Mm -hmm. and, and then the increased zone is when things are working. Yeah. And you're in the flow. You're doing the right thing. You're, you're doing, doing the, the right, right thing. thing. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. So a lot of times we do a lot of stuff, but we have to ask ourselves, are we doing the right thing? Oh, Major key alert. I'm leaning in. <laughs> Are you doing the right thing? Okay. <laughs> See this guy right here. Major key alert. So anyway, <laughs> we're tuning into the Total Wellness Show with Terrence on One Way Praise Radio. I'm here with Karen Harrison and Mr. Emil Brown. The Power of Tech Tour. Yes, thank you. 6 9 Get 2018. Get your tickets. VIP is selling out. Everything's selling out right now. I still have room for if you want to be a vendor. Yes, or a sponsor. Or a sponsor. Mm -hmm. right. Has some great sponsors, by the way. Yeah, you yeah. Know. We're looking for more corporate sponsors. You know, we got to take this thing around the country. Yeah. So if you want to if you want to be a part of helping people, come join us. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, come definitely come. And you, you're going to learn a lot. You're going to pick up a lot of nuggets that's going to change your life forever. <laughs> not ever, just ever. not just for next week, right? Ever, you right. know, yes. I mean, real lifestyle changes that's yeah. going to really make a difference forever. Yeah, you know, I like saying that in your forever. kids' life, your yeah. kids' kids' life, when they bury you, they're going to be like, you know, your your eulogy is going to be like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see the the difference is everybody that's on the tour is winning. Everybody. They're not they're not up there just talking. They right. are winning, winning at life. And I'm part of that. Facts. <laughs> winning. Right. Winning at life. All right. Anyway, so thank you guys for tuning in. We had an awesome, awesome yes, sir, thank show. You. Thank you so much. Definitely. It's been a pleasure. And uh, you're going to hear more from these people, these guys, some of my favorite people, Power Couple. Y'all follow them, social media, everything on their website. 
get the book, get those tickets, yes. get them. come get these nuggets, come get this education of technology, how you're going to increase generational wealth, yes. everything. And come here for me, too. So, you know, that's yeah. what's up. So, anyway. Check what, them out. Follow good, Terrence. Yeah. Get right. Right. Yes. Without any good health, it can be no good wealth. So That's just right. take care of yourself and Amen. let's get it. Amen. Have a good night. All right, good night, night y'all. Mm. Easy peasy. Mm. That was great. That was a good interview. Yeah, it can be like.